This Elon Omar, anti-Semitic, I believe has been censored, has, why do the people of Minnesota keep re-upping her? Um, thank you, Eric, for having me. Um, if you remember, uh, the, the first interview we had um, it was about them. It was about Ilhan Omar and her soulmate, uh, Rashida Talib. And, you know, I, I have problem that how even these two could be at the United States Congress. They uh, are coming from uh, two areas in the world which they couldn't stay there with their family. They wanted to be alive, then they escaped from um, Rashida Talib from Palestine and uh, Ilhan Omar from Somalia, from Mogadishu, um, which is run by terrorists, by the gangs, Islamic gangs. And then they came to the United States. And then here they could get a vote and go to Congress because Americans are too nice to trust the people too soon. And then at the Congress, they are saying everything against the United States. They are telling us that the U.S. fundamentally is wrong. Even I have seen an interview two years ago from Ilhan Omar. She was sitting uh, side by side by Rashida Talib at Howard University in Washington, D.C. And she was saying, if the Somalian are coming here as a refugee, if the Palestinian are coming here as a refugee, it's because it's fault of the United States, because U.S. have done something wrong in the world that everybody, they want right, to right. come to the United States. Allow, allow me to, to bring it over to Eric. Eric, but take a listen to Elon Omar a while back. We, uh, one, probably the, one of the darkest days in American history, maybe the darkest day in American history, 9-11, of course. Listen how she described that day. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. Yeah, Eric, not, not only that, and she's talking about CARE, the, the Council for American Islamic Relations, an unindicted co-conspirator to 9-11. So go ahead, Eric. Yeah, well, you know, if you don't have double standards, uh, she wouldn't have any double. She wouldn't have any standards at all. I mean, here she says these things uh, about what's going on, you know, offhand about terrorism here in America, but you know, she actually wrote to Cutter. She was a part of a group of House Democrats that wrote a letter to uh, FIFA, the, the the soccer organization, to Cutter, complaining about their heel dragging and dealing with Cutter because Cutter has so many human rights abuse issues. But you know, oh, it's all right to take the money and go for the trip. Uh, we still don't know the actual amount, the money, the number on the money hasn't come out yet. But I mean, th this is her attitude. You know, she can support a country that supports terrorism, that has a ban on homosexuality. Well, she can go and accept a gift from them. But, you know, she's very uh, casual when it comes to terrorism, to acts of terrorism in the United States itself. And of course, we all know about her previous, uh, you know, comments regarding Israel yeah. and saying it's all about the Benjamins and there's influence there, but yeah. she's okay with so, taking so, money from So, Amir, That's everyone fine. else, uh, us mere mortal Americans, say something like she did, an anti-Semitic comment like that, and, you know, you, you're, you're in trouble for it, and rightly so. She says it, and they sweep it under the rug. Quick, quick thought. The two, uh, let's, let's go back to CARE when she was defending CARE organization. Um, Eric, 13 years ago, I was among some uh, journalists who went to visit a um, school, an Islamic school in Chicago, suburb of Chicago. And they didn't know who I am exactly, but I was an Iranian refugee at that time. And then they thought I'm one of them. And in that school, I was scared because all 600 students, they were sitting on the floor, run by care, they were reading Quran, and we had a chance to talk with some of those school. It was looked like Pakistan to me. And I, I was, honestly, I was scared. And I talked to the students and said, um, who are you? Are you considering yourself as American? And he said, no, I'm not American. He was defending, yeah. offended. And I said, who are yeah. you? He said, I'm a Muslim. And, and yet, said, and yet. You in this and school? And yet she represents a very uh, high uh, density of Somalians in Minnesota, so she keeps getting reelected. We got to leave it there. It's, it's something that we'll continue to look into. Amir Fakravar and also Eric Shiner, thank you so much for joining us, you two.